All right, now we're going to be talking about uh, another Ingve Strat. This one is uh, from Japan. So this is the ST57140YM. So we'll just start at the top like I've been doing. It's got the smaller 50 style headstock, single string tree, the small 50s lettering, Ingve Malmsteen signature, Klusen style tuners. You can see it has a walnut plug with uh, no truss rod access from the top of the headstock. Brass nut. The Fender Custom Edition logo on the back. Klusen style tuners, as you can see. Oh, that's interesting. I just looked at this right now. Yet again, on the, the Japanese fender, the, uh, the skunk stripe is longer. This one goes all the way up here. Japan logo there. Single ply uh, cover on the back. We'll go over to the front again. So these ones actually, even though Fender USA at the time wasn't doing it, these ones came with the jumbo frets. You can tell they're uh, pretty large. So same time frame, the American ones were still using the vintage tiny little frets. The scallop job on the 140YMs is pretty good. It's uh, more even and more fret to fret than uh, some of the other models that I've seen, the 140YMs are basically the top shelf for the Japanese models. Some areas they're a little uneven, but for the most part it's pretty good. And for the body, they come with uh, an 8-hole single-ply pit guard. I guess that's what they were using in the 50s too, so that's what they wanted to emulate. This one, uh, this one doesn't have the factory pickups but they come with DiMarzio HS3s in the neck and bridge and uh, just a standard uh, pickup in the middle so I'm gonna have to replace those and the the pots in here were also replaced with um, very in, inexpensive stuff, Chinese probably so uh, they're supposed to come with CTS pots or is it CST pots? I can't remember either way I'm sure you know what I'm talking about um, these ones actually have a step up from the other models too. They have the fender stamped saddles. But then when you go to the bridge block, it's die cast instead of steel like the uh, the American fenders. This one actually has a pretty deep body contour. Deeper than some, not as deep as others, but uh, it's very comfortable. I think that's about it for this one.